Hey, it's Dan. Welcome back. You're watching I allegedly, and uh, got a good one for you today. I am in uh, the Corona del Mar area of Newport Beach right now, walking on the bridge, heading towards the uh, cliffs, and uh, it's a beautiful day. It's clear skies, rained, it's all gone. But uh, before I get into it, you need to buckle up for October, because October is going to be a bumpy one to say the least. So there's a tremendous amount to cover in this video. Uh, please, as always, like the video, hit the subscribe button, use this uh, QR code right here, and join our email list. So many of you have done it. It's absolutely fantastic. So sign up right here and join the email list. Plus today we have a sponsor, Patriot Gold. Now, I'm gonna get right into it. With the economy, with the government shutdown, we're seeing some crazy things happen right now. But I wanna talk about a couple things that are just completely unavoidable. And uh, I just were shocked, I was shocked by it. And the first one is, I have a friend and uh, she's got a Hyundai and the Hyundai needs brakes. So she calls the dealer and the dealer says, oh wait, we can't work on that because of the recall right now. Well, what do you mean you can't work on my brakes because of the recall? Well, we don't know what we're going to do with the recall yet. And the recall has to do with the brake lining and that the brake lining could leak and it could potentially start a fire. First things first is we don't recommend that you park the car inside. She's like, what does that mean? Well, don't park it inside. She's like, well, I work, you know, for a medical, you know, uh, company and I, Park in a parking structure. Oh, don't do that. Avoid the parking structure. Are you kidding me? So this 3.7 million cars that got recalled by Hyundai and by Kia, the fire damage is so dangerous that they don't recommend that you park in a parking structure. Who's following that? Now, here's the thing about this. This is never the responsible party that causes the problem. It's always somebody else. You know what I mean? Oh, I'm not going to listen to that. That's where the problem comes in. But is it that serious that you shouldn't park it inside of an apartment complex under a carport? You should have it out, what, in an open area and steer clear of this? Come on, this is absolutely insane right now. So nobody wants to admit the severity of this and, uh, you know, go ahead. Gotta hurry. Have you noticed Tesla drivers are always in a hurry? Yeah, she's got to hurry up and be in a dead end straight. Anyways, craziness. So you're going to hear more about this, but it's going to be interesting to see how the recall gets handled and if anybody thinks it's a big deal. But when you call the dealership and they tell you they don't know how it's going to be handled, that's a concern. The next thing, as you know, with the government shutdown, the thing that is absolutely disturbing about this is the inflation that we've gone through over the last two years. Since January of 2021, a family of four to live pays an average of $1,200 more a month, 1200 bucks. And you guys always hear me say the jokes, hey, give me $1,200. Where does that money come from? With people making less money right now, your buying power is less, your, your wages are down compared to what they were two years ago. You know, don't even compare it to 10 and 20 years ago, but it's off the chart, off the chart. And, uh, you know, we're, we're seeing this over and over again. And the thing that is happening right now is, yes, the weather's beautiful, but it is about to turn. As we enter October, you know, it's going to start getting cold in a lot of places very quickly. You know, you know, I can't stand solar. And I've talked to you guys about this time and again. The only thing good when I worked at the solar company that made a lot of sense was they did energy saving audits on these people's houses. And what they were was they were, they basically stuck a fan at the front of the house to see how much air loss you would have like through your windows, through your doors and things like that. And this was value. This would save people a tremendous amount of money by weather stripping doors and, and things like that because it would make it so drafts wouldn't come in and you wouldn't lose heat and things like that. As you look at this, look at doing that. Now look at trying to seal up the house and get rid of the problems. You know where it's cold, you know, and hey, you're busy. I, I'll, you know, I'll do it next weekend. Do it now, guys. Do it now and save yourself some money. So 
crazy, crazy, crazy. Uh, this house here, my friend actually posted that for a foreclosure at one point and uh, was listed as high as almost $37 million and uh, fell out of escrow at $22 million. He, he posted it at $22 million, but it finally closed escrow. So somebody bought this house. I don't know what they paid for it. It's kind of interesting, but uh, that's the area that I'm at right now. So with this energy saving stuff, look at it right now. Look at trying to save money. And uh, with real estate right now, we're seeing a trend right now where people are looking at changing their needs for real estate, changing what their massive goals are. Oh, I want a big house. I want to live here. I want a lot of land. People want simplicity. What people want right now is a great article out of Fortune magazine about how 60% of the people said they want to be comfortable. No, they don't want to be in debt. People are fearful right now that they're living in a precarious spot. And if you don't get yourself out of this, it's only going to get worse. It's not going to get better. You know, so many people that I've talked to that have a lot of money are cutting back right now. Why? They don't need to cut back. They could put, you know, the pedal to the to the uh, to the to the floor and just go hit it, spend all that dough. But real estate agents, I'm getting a kick out of this. Where I'm getting so many real estate agents, you know, you're giving misinformation. There's no supply and dem you know it's all about supply and demand, sir. If you knew anything about property, you would understand. That. How many houses do you own right now, Dan? Uh, none, thank God and baby Jesus. Okay, and you know here's the thing. I get a kick out of real estate agents because when I start to ask the questions, um, like, you know, from my buddy Drayton Nay, okay, um, you start to ask people questions like, you know, how long have you done this? Hey, what'd you do before you did real estate? And there are people out there, and there's a very few of them, small percentage of real estate agents that tear it up, that are value, that have buyers, that have cash connections, financing connections, construction connections, and can benefit you in selling your house. The rest of them are really cool at printing out cool stationary pads to drop on the front door of your house and doing what I call gloat sheets where somebody sells a house and you know Stacy and Sarah sold the house on Jasper Way for $25,000 over asking in 14 days <laughs> you know so you get that if I had a, a bird cage I would line the bird cage with those things but again a lot of real estate agents don't earn their money and you're going to see the fallout of this happen on a monthly basis. You're going to see more and more of these people drop out of this profession. Drayton Nay, um, he's the James Brown of real estate. Okay, He is truly the hardest working man in real estate. And the reason why I say that is because he's a real estate wholesaler. He's not an agent. He's not a broker. He buys properties, fixes them up, and sells them himself. Okay. Now, one thing about this guy that's absolutely amazing is that he will go knock on doors. Knock, 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 knock. He has a army of people that follow him where he gets leads from and ideas from and, and different, hey, I think this, I think the, the mom is ill and she went to a nursing home. And he will move on properties like that. You'd be surprised how many families own five and six houses and one or two of them are completely upside down. Completely upside down, just a dump that needs to be, you know, sold, fixed up. So some of these realtors write me about Drayton and say, you know, that guy just steals houses. Okay. I have seen this guy fix up houses, uh, literally the worst house in the neighborhood and fix it up in 65 days and sell it in 81 days from the day he closes escrow to the day that the, he gets his check. Okay. What are you talking about? Okay. I've seen him put so much value into houses that I, and I've seen this twice now where I've driven to Las Vegas as he works out of the Vegas area. And that guy will take this house and he puts a gate out in front, landscapes it. Then when he does list it, he has a showing that's absolutely crazy where he will have it staged like a family's living there, like the kids are playing in the backyard and it is fantastic. But I have seen people drive by just to look at the house. What other realtors do that? You know, it's just, it's a tough market right now, Dan. Things are going so quick. No one has time for that. Okay, okay, okay. You're about to learn who the good real estate agents are. Remember that.
you know, one thing that floored me was paying for that air show and having to go through that fence and having to fork out money. I thought it was ridiculous. And uh, the one thing that I'm all about is things that are for free, value, doing things that are fun, that don't cost you any money. And I'm always sharing things like that. Those are the best things to do. And uh, Steve had the comment of the day. He says, Dan, we're all paying for an air show, the Ukrainian air show, <laughs> which I thought was funny. Our tax dollars at work. So share your thoughts on this. The opening of the port, just a cool spot to walk out to. Everybody's out enjoying the uh, grass this morning, overlooking little Corona. So share your thoughts on this stuff so far. Let's talk about our sponsor, Patriot Gold Group. Let's face it, guys, a government shutdown, interest rates gonna go up next month, the stock market hanging by a thread. You need to protect yourself. The best thing to do is call Patriot Gold today, 888-330-1431, and find out how an IRA or 401k that's backed by physical metals could help you in your retirement. You know, if you don't want to call, use the link below, but let them know that I allegedly sent you. And uh, guys, think about this. We've seen gold lately in the last couple of weeks actually go down in price. Stock up, guys. Call them today because they carry everything. Gold, silver, platinum, palladium. You need to protect yourself now and look at getting yourself into physical metals in your retirement. Call them today. 888-330-1431. You know, with the instability of our government, with the instability of the stock market, with this inflationary spike that we're all living through, you need to protect yourself. Call Patriot Gold now before it's too late, guys. Wow. Now that is a ship. Look at that. That is absolutely stunning. Now, things in the economy that you just cannot ignore, and that's the layoffs. And uh, Taylor Roth is a women's hosiery company in the Raleigh area, Lumberton, and they just laid off 120 people. So are women not buying stockings anymore right now? You know that they are. So they're just having a difficult time with business, and the manufacturing side is getting clipped and just completely taken advantage of right now. Malcolm Gladwell, we've all heard of him. He owns a podcast company now called Pushkin, and he's firing you know, over 100 people as well. He did a big push two years ago, if you remember. Everybody needs to go back to the office. Everybody needs to go back to work, other than the podcast company. So you can't work here, okay? So I get a kick out of stuff like that. The story's below on that too, and I don't mean to make fun of anybody losing their job. That's not what I'm talking about by any means but what you're seeing is that this is a very very precarious market right now it really is in everything and uh, you know this push for smaller houses this is a sign guys that people want to downsize they want to downsize their money they want to downsize their employees they want to downsize all their exposure and that is the best thing that you can do as you start the fourth quarter is to cut back in any way that you can right now it's incredibly important to do this god this is just a stunning spot today with all these boats coming out here so you can't you know no one's ever been wrong by trying to save money. They really haven't. No, no one's ever made the mistake. Uh, oh, you know, we just should have pushed it. We should have had those 120 more employees and had all that debt. No, 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 no. One thing that we're seeing again is bank warnings now that October's here. And you're going to see news like, hey, look over here. And then this is going to be really bad. Right now, the banks have unrealized losses on their books where they have all these losses of things that are not getting paid right now. And they are to the tune of hundreds of billions of dollars. And with that, these banks are in a very precarious spot and they're going to be upside down. And everybody thinks, oh, we're just going to bail the banks out. We're just going to write a check and Bank of America is going to become, you know, something else. You're going to see banks go down for the count. And you've got J.P. Morgan, all these different banks. Morgan Stanley's talking about this. You've got Bank of America talking about it now. Why are they talking about unrealized losses for the banking industry? 
And it is, I don't know what it is today, but look at all this, these large boats out here today. I just, everybody's getting out of town. So, okay. So, share your thoughts on this stuff, guys, right now, because it's, you know, a lot more to come. I am amazed at the ingenuity of criminals. And there is a new one that's out there that uh, Fox News is warning people about. And that was that a thief went and used Bluetooth to override a gas pump. And I had no idea gas pumps had a Bluetooth option on it, but thief walked in, clearly he knew the industry, had to have. Did an override on the gas pump and made it so that the gas pump was free for all. Everybody who used the gas pump. So this was in Detroit on Eight Mile and I believe McFadden or anyways, Mitchell or anyways, it was a uh, Eight Mile area. And uh, the thing about this is that people would just get up there and you know, eight, 800 gallons, man, just a ton. So again, criminals get another one, take advantage of people. One thing that I've had a lot of people lately ask me about, hey, Dan, you know, we've got my grandson moving in with us. We've got my kids are trying to find a house. They're going to live with us for six months to a year. A lot of people are living with their parents again. And there's an article that was sent to me about how there's no stigma about people living with their parents. And I'm like, ah, you know what? My house, kids can come and go whenever they want, even though they're, they're out on their own and they have their own places. So I thought it was that. No, this is people that are 45. 50 years old that uh, just haven't left what hello really 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 so if you don't think that things are bad right now you are kidding yourself you are absolutely playing a game with your own mind because the problem is is that people just are not having it easy right now with work and you know I am uh, constantly seeing things like this that uh, really just don't shock me anymore uh, Bernard Arnholt, who's he? He is the second richest man in the world. He runs uh, really, uh, you know, all the expensive brands, Gucci and, um, uh, uh, you know, Louis Vuitton, stuff like that. You know, he owns all these different brands, really high-end guy. And uh, anyways, uh, he is under, you know, suspicion of money laundering right now. And I'm like, how, how does a guy like that launder money when everybody's watching him? Well, it was for a potential real estate deal for a Russian oligarch. You know, maybe he's helping out a friend. But regardless, in France, they said, listen, we want you to understand just because we're investigating something that you're learning about on YouTube right now doesn't mean this person did anything wrong. Oh, OK. OK. OK, sure. The thing about these high end brands that really floor me is that as we enter the holiday season, one thing that you're going to see is you're going to see more and more people line up for uh, you know, these, these expensive stores to go purchase from them. You know, they will put this stuff on their credit cards and get $6,000 handbags and things like that, which is insanity right now. So people will go in debt to look a certain way and not think twice about it. And that is absolutely nuts. So have you guys seen that? And again, I am all for people fixing their financial situation and doing what they have to do. It's the people that move in with somebody that have no plan. You know, I've told you guys, I was dead broke at one time and uh, that was, that motivated me to get myself put together and make more money and, and clean up everything. And it worked, totally worked. So either people do that or they just like mom's cooking, if you know what I mean, or grandma's cooking for that matter too. So tides coming in. We just get a kick out of these houses because the water could just hit up there. So share your thoughts on all this stuff so far. Let me know what you guys think about all this. Now as we enter October, there's a lot to look at right now in the economy. 
and all these big warnings with the government shutdown, you know, it's going to affect things like travel. It's going to affect TSA. If you're going to an airport or a train station or anything that has public transportation where there is security involved that works for the feds, give yourself time and a half, guys, because it's going to be desperately needed right now, to say the least. Uh, Freightways Magazine did an article below, which is great, about what we lose uh, during a government shutdown when it comes to shipping. And I have to understand, certain, you know, federal uh, land is not open, certain deliveries not open, certain parks, certain things like that that we just, you know, don't even think about, you know, uh, are not going to be available right now. You know, we're seeing oil. You know, that's going to shoot up. Oil is going to continue to shoot, but there's nothing that's going to bring the price of gas down and oil down anytime soon. Will it eventually come down? Of course, but not today and not in the next coming months, which is going to make your heating bills and your energy bills through the roof. So prepare yourself for that. You know, student loan, uh, they're about to get kicked in. And there's two parts to this that are absolutely crazy. People need to get ready to pay more money. It's going to happen. Okay, they gotta gotta make those payments and you've gotta look at the interest that you owe in these loans guys because it is it is going to be uh, catastrophic for some of you when you see the difference what just a couple years will do to your interest. Oh they didn't add any interest during this time, Dan. They held it. Wait. Just wait guys. This is gonna be compounded and there's gonna be no breathing room soon. But here's the sick thing. Walmart corporate just announced that as of October 1st, they're going to have hundreds of jobs with Walmart corporate that will not require a college degree. Huh? Okay. You're going to see this more and more and more in the future, guys. More and more people that will have, you know, jobs offered to people where they will not require a college degree. So share your thoughts on all this stuff, guys. And uh, we're gonna see some very interesting times between now and the end of the year, to say the least. I'm gonna finish this video with these last couple stories. And the first one is energy costs are expected to go through the roof because of something you never even thought of. And that's artificial intelligence, AI. Great article below talking about how chat GPT uses one gigawatt of power a day and it's cost an absolute fortune to run that, which I never even thought of. I just thought about you, some guys, you know, using this in his house and it's his home computer and we're all taking advantage of chat GPT from that. No, it's incredibly expensive. Final, final story is Netflix. You know, Netflix got started as a DVD company that you could um, you know, order DVDs online, you could get up to three at a time based on how big your, your uh, program was. Well, they just mailed out the final DVD from their service from the last 25 years. Some people got free DVDs, but it's over. End of an era, guys. And again, will someone do that again? Who knows? Who knows? You know, everything is streaming right now, so there's going to be more streaming platforms. You're going to see more video sharing platforms that are going to hit the market, but it's kind of fascinating. So. Please don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel, hit the bell notification, join our email list. You want to join, the simplest way is right here. I've got some huge announcements. Make sure you're on the email list, guys, because it's all getting announced on the email, okay? So onward and upward, guys. I'll see you guys very soon.